Hi, Bookish Besties. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're already subscribed, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, I'm here to introduce a new project on my channel called Mission Impossible. And let's see if you can help. <music> So this is just going to be a really quick, short and sweet video announcing a new project on my channel that I hope to continuously work on in small amounts here and there. It's definitely not going to be a main focus. It's going to be something that I work on when I can. And there will be periodic vlogs coming out to document my experience. And essentially the whole goal of this project is to help me find a new favorite romance book, but more ideally romance author. Back in February on Valentine's Day, I believe, I created a video called Building My Perfect Romance. Like what would a perfect romance book look like for me. And in that video, I talked about how very particular I am about romance novels. Because in theory, I love a good romance story. I love the happily ever afters. I love the sexual tension. I love the buildup and I love when they come together. And I do really enjoy all of those things about a romance novel. But the vast majority of romance novels out there do not work for me because they are missing some things that I feel are essential for a really perfect, solid romance, one that I can root for and get behind. And I want that happily ever after for. And so right now I have some authors. I wouldn't necessarily classify them as romance. They're more contemporary stories that contain a romance within them like Abby Jimenez, like Emily Henry, that I feel exemplify my tastes and what I'm looking for. And I'm very nervous to pick up new solidly romance authors or new contemporary authors that feature romances just because I can never find ones that hit the way that I want them to. So I'm really trying to see if I can be a romance girly, if I can find some really exceptional romances or romance authors that I want to gravitate to time and time again. They don't have to be a perfect hit all of the time. Emily Henry certainly is not a perfect hit. And recently, unfortunately, Abby Jimenez has not been a perfect hit, even though I could have sworn she could do no wrong. But I want the majority of their stories to work for me, if that makes sense. So what I want to do is I want to get your input. I want to get your help, especially since I know a lot of you read romance exclusively or romance very heavily. And you probably have a good idea of what kind of authors write what. So let me me tell you a little bit about what I really look for in a romance. And again, a lot of this is covered in that Building My Perfect Romance video that I posted back in February. And I also want to talk about some authors that I absolutely do not want recommended to me, just so you can kind of stay away from those authors and you don't waste your time recommending authors that I already know that I do not like or I am not willing to give another chance to. So the main thing for me in a romance is a slow burn. It 100% has to be a slow burn. And to be honest, I do not even want these characters to acknowledge an attraction to each other or lust for each other early on in the story. So I don't want insta lust and I certainly do not want insta love. I really want there to be a legitimate buildup to the sexual tension and then the actual sexual relationship, romantic relationship that they get into. I completely acknowledge that a lot of romances really do mirror real life. You know, sometimes you meet somebody, you have a really intense attraction to them and it goes from zero to 100 really, really quick. I myself, when I was younger, I was definitely in those types of relationships. So I acknowledge that those are not exactly unrealistic, but I think within the story, it it doesn't work as well because you're not given the opportunity to connect to the characters outside of the relationship and you're definitely not given enough time to actually root for the relationship. So slow burn is 100% a must. Another thing that's a must for me is harder hitting emotional elements. I am not looking for rom-com cutesy romances here. I am looking for romances that at some point are probably going to make me cry or tear up, you know, that you are actually going to be able to feel the pain. You all know already that I'm definitely more of a character driven reader than I am a plot driven reader. So any story that really is heavily focused on the characters and their development both separately and together is truly what I'm looking for within a romantic relationship. I do also definitely love some good banter. There are certainly some tropes also that I gravitate towards more than others. For example, I love a good hate to love relationship, enemies to lovers, grumpy sunshine. Those are some of my favorites. You all also know to steer clear of fake pregnancy, unexpected pregnancy, surprise pregnancy, any kind of pregnancy in a story I do not want. It's okay if an author that you recommend to me has like one book that features that I would probably stay away from it. But if you're going to recommend just a specific book to me, try to avoid having that in there. And also I'm primarily looking for contemporary romance. I'm really not interested in super historical romance, especially like Regency era, Victorian era romance. That's not my thing. I'm looking for primarily contemporary romance. In terms of authors that I've tried and I've determined are really just not my thing, Christina Lauren is definitely a duo that I have 100% broken up with. I really don't find their books to be be very 
very substantial at all. They're more on a superficial level. I really don't feel like I get a, an emotional connection to them at all. And after the disaster to me that was Love in Other Words, which is one of their most popular novels, I figure if I can't love that book, I probably just can't love them as an author duo. So I'm staying away from them. Tessa Bailey also, I read a couple of books by her and they have been fine. But for the most part, they're more light and fluffy than I typically want them to be. So I'm kind of steering away from her as well. I've also tried Anna Huang. I tried the Twisted Love book, the first book in that series, and absolutely not. It was one of the worst romance books I have ever read in my entire life. And I will never, ever, ever give Anna Huang another chance. I would also prefer to stay away from Elsie Silver. I read the first two books in the Chestnut Spring series and they were okay, but I could already tell that they were not going to be new favorites to me. They didn't do anything spectacular to me. They weren't amazing. I don't get the hype behind Elsie Silver. I'm totally okay with the small town romance, the Western romance or things like that. But there were just some things that she does in her stories that were not really for me. And I'm definitely looking to stay away from her as well. So those were just some authors that I could think of off the top of my head that I would prefer were not recommended to me. I'm sure that there are plenty more out there that I'm not thinking of. But if you do recommend them to me, if I'm willing to give them a second chance, I will. Otherwise, I'll kind of let you know that I've already read them and you might want to give me another recommendation. So now it's kind of a challenge for you. I'm asking you to recommend me authors or books that you think that I will love based on some of my criteria, some of the authors that I've loved in the past. Again, I'm going to say Abby Jimenez, Emily Henry. I absolutely love the Simple Wild series by K.A. Tucker, but I don't necessarily think all of K.A. Tucker's romances work for me because a lot of her romances do feature things that I don't like, but she is an author that I have definitely loved in the past. Colleen Hoover, of course, one of my favorite authors of all time. I've read the vast majority of the books that she's put out. I still have a handful left to read, but for the most part, I've read a large part of her collection. So that just kind of gives you some parameters to work within. Who I've loved, who I haven't loved, who I'm actively avoiding, actively staying away from, and use that information to the best of your ability to see if you can find me, my new favorite romance book or romance author. Like I said before, the plan is to pick up these books periodically and vlog my reading experience. And after I've read maybe three or four books, I will go ahead and put all of that together in a vlog. So the vlog could potentially expand months worth of time. I will just be reading the books as I can get to them. But ultimately there will be vlogs coming out of these experiences. And then we're going to kind of just see if I'm able to find one that I really, really love, or if it's ultimately going to determine whether or not I should just stay completely away from romance. You know what I mean? I don't want to, but at this point I'm really nervous to pick up romance. Almost every single romance that comes out that's super hyped or super popular, I'm like, you know, I don't think that this would be for me. I think that this is going to contain a lot of things that I don't like. And I'm really trying to kind of hone in on who I like and what I like in romance books so that I can better determine what I should or should not pick up. All right, everybody, that is it. Again, please comment down below any of your recommendations. I would absolutely love to hear them. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I typically post two videos a week, one on Wednesdays, one on Sundays, and I would love to connect with you in any of those future videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which you can always find linked down below along with any books featured in a video. Until next time, y'all. Bye.